Here we have the first, second, and third generation of Ira Johnson pistols. The first generation started in the 1890s with the introduction of this uh, top brake five shot revolver. It's distinctive because it was designed to use black powder, uh, so it has this relatively weak top latch which is actually pretty easy to come undone and um, the trigger mechanism and everything is made out of the same soft metal as the rest of the gun. Now this will shoot modern ammunition but it's said that it's hard on it and it, um, it'll probably wear the pistol out very quickly. Okay, the second generation <clears throat> Uh, looks very much like the first. This, by the way, is in 38 Smith & Wesson as opposed to 32. Uh, otherwise, they are just scaled up versions of the same gun. That's 32 on the left and 38 on the right. Uh, they actually use a lot of the same parts. Uh, the difference is quite obvious when you look at this top latch it's a much more solid top latch uh, that holds the uh, uh, the cylinder in tighter you've gone to uh, case hardened steel for the uh, the hammer and uh, you know case hardened steel for this uh, bottom plate so it's a it's black it's uh, clearly a harder steel than the the original pistol was now, this original pistol, uh, I guess you can credit the existence of the National Park Service to this pistol because this was the pistol that killed President McKinley, uh, producing uh, President Theodore Roosevelt, who started the National Park System. Um, also killed the King of Spain with one of these. So, the second generation was designed for smokeless powder and was, uh, you know, coincidental with about the First World War, okay? This is the last generation, the third generation of pistols uh, that were produced up until World War II, okay? The, the differences here um, has a slightly more robust sight and better sight picture than the, the original ones. Uh, the, uh, the firmer lock, right? the case-hardened um, trigger mechanism, but also this mechanism here within the trigger that uh, makes it called the safety automatic. And it was heavily advertised as the safest revolver uh, because it would not accidentally discharge. You could drop it on the ground. Uh, it wouldn't discharge. You could. Uh, uh, you had to pull the trigger, you had to pull this inner mechanism in order for it to release and fire. So that was not present on the, the previous generation or the first generation. So this more complicated trigger mechanism they're called the safety automatic. This is a hammerless model. The hammer is just concealed, but for in your clothes it will not uh, bind up on anything. It's easier to draw and fire. And this is the one I had apart yesterday. It's now assembled, working perfectly. So that's a tour of Ivor Johnson. I do have one additional one, but my wife's got it with her. All right. Thank you for your attention.